Hi there, let's get right into it. To call up the balance sheet and profit and loss statement in SAP Svahana Fiori, we navigate to the application called Balance Sheet Income Statement. This one over here. By the way, the balance sheet income statement multidimensional, I have already explained to you in another video. I will leave the link in the description of this one. So we open up the first one over here, balance sheet income statement click on this one. If you are not sure whether you are on the right application or not, you can simply click here on your user symbol and then click over here on about. And here you can see I am right now in the application called F0708. Okay, over here, you can first of all see the typical design of a Fiori application. So in this section over here, we have the filters. And then over here in this section, you will see the output later on. So first of all, you can see there are many different filters with an asterisk, so they are mandatory. We select the company code and the ledger for which we want the information to be displayed. Then we need to set the financial statement version. By the way, I have another video on how to set up a financial statement version. I will also leave you the link in the description of this one. So let me actually search for mine, 1720 in my case. Then you can see we need to select the statement type. Here it's set to normal, normal actually, but there are more options over here. And if you want to find out more about these options, you can simply click here on the question mark and then hover over this circle over here. And there you can see the explanation. So normal would be the most used view. So this actually shows the values of the opening balance as well as all the movements during the year. Then you can see here movements. So if we select movements, then only the movements during the year are being displayed, but not the balance carry forward values. So the values that were carried forward from the last financial year to this financial year. If we select opening, then we would only see the balance carry forward values. So for instance, on the 1st of January, where the values were carried forward from the 31st of December or we can even set over here actual plan. So this will compare the balance between the actual data and the plan data. Okay, then you can see here the end period and also the comparison period. If we hover over this, you can see here a good example. So actually, as being displayed over here, the end period would be the last relevant month of the year for which we want to display a financial statement as well as the relevant year. So for instance, here we want to display the financial statement for April 2024. And also, you can see over here the comparison period. So here's a good example. If we want to compare the first six months of the current year with the same period of the previous year, we would say for the end period, for instance, 6, 2024, and for the comparison period, also six, but this time plus 2023. Then we select the currency over here and this is it. We can click on go. By the way, if you want to save those filters over here, you simply need to select this drop down and then click on save as. And here we could say view company code 1710. We can set it as default so that next time we enter this application, these filters will already be shown public so that other people can also access our filters and apply automatically means that not only the filters will be shown, but the query will also execute. Okay, now you can see here that the financial statement is being displayed. You can see the different categories, assets, liabilities, income statement, profit and loss results, and also not assigned accounts. So meaning that those accounts have not been assigned to either one of those categories over here. Again, I've shown you in another video how this works. The link is in the description. So we can see over here all accounts. We can also toggle between balance sheet accounts only, profit and loss accounts only, the unassigned accounts that we would need to assign, and also the notes. If we want to open this category over here, we can click on the arrows and just click up until we see the different accounts. Or we can also click here on expand all, which will expand the whole hierarchy or also we can click on collapse all to display the overview again. As you can see over here, we also have the option to personalize all of you. This means I could, for instance, take this over here and drag and drop it like that. You can see also I can personalize the view by marking what I want to be displayed. For instance, if I want also the segment and profit center to be displayed, I just tick them over here, press OK. However, as you can see, those values here are still blank. This is because to display profit center and segment information, there is more we need to do. What we also need to do is we need to click over here on the filters view on adapt filters, and then we need to click on show values. We need to scroll down and click on include profit center and include segment like that. And then hit on go again. Then we can expand the view 
And now you can also see the segments and profit centers. This view over here, you can also store by clicking over here next to standard on the button, click on save as and say company code 1710 view and set as default. As you can see this view, you cannot publish to other users on the system. Also, you can see here, you can create a PDF document. So I could click on this one and then I could say show GL accounts create. And now the system created a financial statement version as a PDF form. However, as you can see, only certain columns are being displayed. And also this is just PDF. If you want to download to Excel, you need to use the application called balance sheet income statement multidimensional, which I have shown in another video. Okay, last but not least, you can also for sure hide the filters so that the view here is bigger and also you can click here on share and either send this application view with all the different filters we have set via mail to another person so that he or she can click on the link and display in the browser what we have filtered here or you can also save this as an own tile as always so that next time you can just click on the your launchpad tile to open your own view of this application over here therefore we will just click on this then say financial statement 1710 own filters let me just copy it like that and then we need to assign it to a page so let's say general ledger overview apply and save and if we then go to the sap symbol over here and we navigate to general ledger overview you can see here your own tile which was based on the financial statement application if i click on this one then you can now see here the balance sheet income statement with our own filters applied this marks the end of the video i hope you liked it if so then please subscribe to the channel and activate the bell see you next time